guys, welcome back to another video with Music With Motive. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at three easy to learn songs with five chords or less that are the top 2020 songs. And now these songs I've picked off the Spotify most streamed, most listened to top 50. And I found these songs to be particularly fun to play and quick to learn. We're gonna be taking a look at um, some songs that use chords that actually I've featured in my last two videos. So make sure to go check that out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. I'm going to be using a capo to help us to be able to play those, what seemed like tough bar chords. We can make those into familiar shapes is it moves pitch. It shifts it up half a step every time you put it on the fret. And those four chords are actually the D minor, A minor, C to G. And that repeats through the whole song, verse, chorus, same strumming pattern, which I'm about to show you. So the strumming pattern is, is this. So down, down, up, up, down, up. So I'm gonna play it with the D minor just as an example, and then hopefully you can follow along the next time I play it. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So now, Let's play it together with the D minor chord. So now this song offers a good variety of chords to be able to change from chord to chord, to be able to exercise those movements and be really comfortable when moving on to more challenging songs. So now we're gonna be going into the introduction part of Blinding Lights, mm -hmm. is going to start with our third fret of the second string, played twice. And then first fret of the second string, back to the third fret. So now let's play together. Play one more time slowly so you can see. And now the next note we're going to add is an open E or first string. And then third string, second fret with our first fret of the second string. So that last part was open on the first string. 2nd fret of the 3rd string, 1st fret of the 2nd string. So all together nice and slow. I'll play it one more time. Feel free to pause the video and play along yourself. And now, to finish it off, we're going to be starting with a third fret on the first string to open, and then third fret on the second string to first fret on the second string. So let's play those four notes again. So now you do that two times, the same four notes. Three, open, three on the second string, one on the second string. And you go back to the three to end the phrase. So I'll play it nice and slow. And then you go back into the chords that we just learned. And 
and that is essentially the entire song is just those chords and then that phrasing comes back again one time i believe and that's just the same thing <laughs> So the next song we're going to be looking at is a Justin Bieber song named Yummy and this song essentially uses two chords, only two chords and those two chords are A minor, E minor, that's it. And all you're doing for the entire song is alternating between those two chords. So you're going to start by A minor. That's literally the whole song, just those two chords and the strumming pattern is like down, up, down, up, down, but I kind of pause in between each of the notes. Down, up, and then I mute all the strings with my palm. Or you can also mute it by going like this. Just literally putting your whole palm on the whole thing if you're not. So now we're going to be taking a look at Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. And we're going to specifically be looking at the part um, that is used in a lot of TikTok sounds that is very popular as that part is very recognizable. Now the intro of the song starts off with the A minor chord. Just strum the A minor into a C, D minor, then the beat drop happens and now we go into the next part. So the way I do it is normally down, up, mute, and then you can go down or back up depending on what's your preference. So what that look like is so you're just giving a pause between uh, the first two down ups. And so now we're going to start it D minor, A minor, F to C. Now we're going to go to G back to D minor, A minor, F, C, and back to G. So now that you learned that, make sure to go show your friends and family what you just learned with those three awesome chords. And now you're able to finally change from chord to chord and use those chords in a very practical sense rather than just learning all the major chords all the minor now you're able to play some of the top songs of 2020 so make sure to give yourself a pat on the back for your achievement and being able to pick up the guitar and say that i know how to play now these three songs make sure to like follow subscribe like and share out the instagram as well music with motive music w motive i'll leave them the link below like comment subscribe show your friends Thanks for watching.